Hello YouTube, Chrono16 here. Today's date, August 5th, 2012. As you can see on screen here, gunman opens fire at Sikh Temple in Wisconsin, 7 dead. I'm just going to go ahead and get straight to the point, guys. This already looks like a false flag event to me. Just like the Batman shootings, uh, there were several people already saying that there were more than one gunman there. There On the scanner, there are scanner reports that state that this officer on screener even mentions that people heard on the scanner that there are more than one gunman. Uh, and then he gets on television here on NBC and discounts the fact that there were two gunmans. He's saying that they, 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 they believe they've got their one gunman, but it's possible that there could have been more than one gunman. Uh, people, this is already looking like, and I, I'm going to go ahead and say it, a 99% chance that this is a false flag event. The Batman shootings a couple of weeks ago was not uh, what they wanted it to be. It doesn't uh, get the public behind them into saying, oh, okay, we need to get everybody's guns and control all that. So it did, the Batman shootings didn't have the outcome they wanted it. So the powers that be had to pull another mass shooting. What a coincidence, huh? All of a sudden, all these mass shootings being reported in mainstream media, but yet all the the, the attempted robberies of the old woman, I uh, believe, last week, who scared off multiple gunmen coming into her store with a gun. You don't hear none of those reports on television. You don't hear these type of reports right here that you see uh, on television about multiple people being shot and killed. Nevertheless, I believe this is a false flag event, but let's go ahead and look at this video, and we'll keep you updated right here on this channel. 5 a.m., uh, the Oak Creek Police Dispatch Center received multiple 911 calls of a shooting at the Sikh Temple here in Oak Creek. The first officer on the scene is a 20-year uh, law enforcement veteran, an extremely accomplished tactical officer. Uh, when he arrived on the scene, he engaged an active shooter outside of the temple. Uh, multiple rounds were exchanged. The officer was shot multiple times. He is currently at Freighter Hospital and being treated for multiple gunshot wounds. He is in surgery. His condition is not known at this time. The suspect, the shooter, was also shot. He is down on the scene and presumed deceased. Uh, tactical officers have made multiple uh, search runs through the facility, through the temple at this time. The best information we have now, and this information may change, is that two individuals were transported from the scene by various local fire departments for gunshot wounds. One being the officer, the other a civilian. The uh, emergency medical personnel, the tactical personnel who have gone through the scene have initially identified what they believe to be four deceased inside of this temple and three deceased outside of the temple, one of whom is the shooter. That is the best information we have available at this time. I do not have any additional information to share with you. As you can see behind me, there are multiple agencies involved here, both local, state, and federal. And we're all trying to coordinate the response here make sure that everybody's safe, anybody who may be wounded is taken care of, and that this investigation gets underway forward. There was a concern about multiple gunmen based on information heard over the scanners. I will tell you that at this time we have not identified any additional gunmen. Uh, it's possible in these types of incidents, as I said before, they're extremely fluid calls and multiple reports. So it's possible that those multiple reports were of the we have not identified it in the temple or on the scene. At this point, we're not sure if there was additional shooters. That will be part of this ongoing process of tactical follow-up, ensuring that everyone is accounted for, ensuring that the scene is secure, and accounting for all the victims and witnesses. I cannot take any questions at this time because that's all the information I have right now.